Look, I don't believe in magic. I mean, there are things that happen that make no sense whatsoever. But I don't, I don't believe it's magic. It's just some weird thing took place. And I have, during my lifetime, once in a while had some funny things happen. And there's one that um, remains a mystery. And I'll explain. So I used to live in the west of Amsterdam and I worked in Rotterdam. So I'd go to, uh, I'd cycle to a station called Leilila every morning uh, on my bike, park the bike, get on the train, go to work. And often, for some odd reason, my timing was, <laughs> I was always late. I don't know, I'd, I'd get up in time and I don't know what I'd be doing. And suddenly it's like, oh my goodness, I have to zoom off and catch the train. So one morning I'm late and I'm cycling and cycling and cycling. And I, as I get to the sort of final stretch, it's this long bit of road and it's crossed by a number of other roads. And I can see that the light is red for me, but I don't care. I need to get the train. I'm desperate to get this train. I mean, as if my life depended on it, which wasn't the case. And so I pass, I go through the red lights and I see these car headlights coming at me. I hear a horn and then somebody is shouting at me. So I have this memory of headlights, a horn and nothing. And then somebody is shouting at me. And the person shouting at me is the guy in the car. He has stopped and my bicycle is in front and it's mangled. It is really mangled, it's twisted. And I'm standing up, nothing, not a scratch, nothing. And this guy is going on oh, this and that and this and that and this and that. And I, I don't know what happened. What my, my theory is that most human beings have a very, very strong will to survive regardless. So um, a light version is sometimes you see somebody almost trip and then their body does these amazing things to make sure they don't fall down. And they can't plan that, the body, it just happens. And I have a feeling that somehow, I don't know what I did, but I left the bike to take the, you know, take the fall and I got off the bike. I don't know how I got off the bike because I was standing there. I mean, huge amounts of adrenaline. I mean, it took hours for this thing to, for me to calm down, but that's a whole other story. And you know, you do the thing, the insurance stuff, uh, the guy asks this and that and go to work, come back. I, I locked my bike on a lamppost, so I come back. And yes, this wasn't a dream. When I come back, the bike is still twisted. And I take what's left of this thing and it's, it's, it's a misery getting this thing back. So I have to walk with it, but the wheels are wonky so that you can't walk straight. And for this happens, about 33 years ago, 33 years ago, this happened. And I've always wondered, how did I get off the bike? I, I wish that somewhere locked in my head is this memory that would allow me to see what I did, how I leapt off the bike, because I think it would have been an incredible shot. I just don't know. But that's one of those things that happened, one of those mirror. Yeah, I guess miraculous escapes. Um, there's a part that says, "Oh, it's a guardian angel just reached down and lift, lifted me off." But I, I want to take the less romantic version, and that is that the brain, this thing in our heads, which is so incredibly amazing, kicked in and said, "Okay, not today. Um, you, you'll live another day."